One question people ask about strong advocates like yourself yeah. is this, uh, why didn't you run for office to give life to your ideals? Um, why <laughs> is Professor Laura, uh, that, is, that is the question well, that I was asked. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I ran in 2007 for a parliamentary seat and, and I, I said before I ran I was asked the same question. And I ran one of the most efficient campaigns, in my view. I held within a constituency 250 meetings, town hall meetings, where I was interrogating the people. I gave nobody a single cent. My friends raised for me 3 million shillings. I spent 1.5, donated the balance to charity. But I told the people that the electorate does not respond to ideas. The person who won in the constituency where I was, never campaigned, but the night before, he was distributing money to everybody. What stimulates the African electorate is instant solutions. The 500 naira that he or she is going to use to buy gari or to buy maize meal in my country. That is the problem. African electorate on average does not respond to ideas. That is what we must do. The African electorate, once we have re-engineered our governance, must ask themselves what do they want. And you've seen consistently in almost in every other country in Africa, those who acquired power through the ballot are not our best men and women. They are our most corrupt men and women, invariably. Even the leaders we now praise initially could never have been elected. Yoweri Kaguta Museveni in Uganda, when he contested in 1980s, failed. He came back through a guerrilla movement, succeeded, now the Ugandan soul, this man is good. Paul Kagame rescued the Rwandese, now they think and know he's good. Mele Zenawi in Ethiopia, the African electorate must liberate themselves. Wale Soinka, who is in Nigeria, and how many times has he tried to run for office? Did he not run for the presidency at one time here in Nigeria? Did the Nigerians elect him? The anti-corruption crusader Nuhuri Badu, did he not run for office? Did the Nigerians elect him? Jean Ping. In Gabon, he ran for election. Did they elect him? Africans don't elect men and women who wish them well. So, so Prof, how, how do we change this trajectory? I mean, how do we reorientate the electorate? If they're going to liberate themselves. If they're not even willing to liberate themselves. What we are doing, the messages we are beginning to send, the beneficiaries will not be us. We who are the forerunners, we who are the harbingers, we who are putting our necks on the chopping board, we who appear to be speaking in the wilderness, we who appear to be orating in the void, we who appear to be irritating both official dom and the people, who we who appear to be to be too opinionated, we who appear to be pontificating, several years down the line it will be said of us holding all factors constant. They made sense. So it is not us who will be beneficiaries. It is another generation who will benefit. And they will benefit because we started this journey. Those who are now reaping the benefits of the activities of people like Martin Luther King Jr. are, are, not, uh, are different. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, not even enjoy what he fought for. Mahatma Gandhi and many others, Kwame Nkrumah and many others. So those who want to fight the war that they may take the spoils will be disappointed. I long liberated myself. In fact, I take the view that if you want to help Africans, don't expect anything from them. In that way, you are free. If I want public office or if I wanted to be appointed anything in the Kenyan government, I won't say the things that I keep saying because I, re I irritate people by speaking the truth. If I wanted to be appointed, I would be sucking up to some president. I would be sucking up to somebody in, in, in officialdom that I may be appointed something. I'm not interested. 
I'm interested in saying the right things because I believe they are right. Am I always right? No, I'm not always right. Sometimes I make many mistakes, many fundamental mistakes, but when it's pointed out to me, I'm quick to apologize.